Peplink's new 8.3 firmware that's available for just about all Peplink's devices is out. It has a tremendous amount of features previously unavailable, and it's out and available for testing now. Come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. Hi, this is Eric with MobileMustHave.com and the Mobile Internet Resource Center. As always, this video is brought to you by our premium members. If you haven't done so already, I highly encourage you to check out our premium memberships at membership.mobilemusthave.com for discounts, access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and much deeper dive information about what we're gonna talk about today. But make sure you check out the detailed news story article at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, which we will link to uh, below. Before we get started, one piece of interesting housekeeping information. A lot of people refer to these as pep links. A lot of them people refer to these as pep waves. <laughs> what exactly is the difference? Well, way back in the day when these products were launched, the marketing department at Peplink decided that they wanted to see two different products. One that was focused on sort of your wired based connectivity, links, pep links, and one based on your wireless technology, cellular, uh, being the primary wireless technology that Peplink devices use. PEP Wave, Wave for Wireless Wave. So that's basically the difference. As of 2023, Peplink is doing away with the PEP Wave name. Okay, so let's talk about some improvements to the interface. And I'll bring my admin console uh, up into, into view here so I can start sharing my screen with you. Uh, the first thing you'll notice in what you see here is, whoa, there's a lot of WAN connections or internet connections. Um, this is not some fancy, super high-end, expensive setup here beyond what our normal customers would operate with, but this is uh, showing you the two devices that are sitting here on my desk um, that are connected together. And what you'll notice is that there's a lot of WAN connections showing up, and that's because of a new feature called Synergy Mode that we'll get to, into in a minute. But before we start with that, I want to show you some basics on kind of what has changed in the interface. Now here on the high level on this primary screen, you may notice that the details button that's located next to each connection is gone. It's not there anymore. Um, what they've done is they've actually replaced the details button uh, with these small quick reference pop-out windows that you'll see here that uh, will show you the IP address of that particular connection. If you click on one of those pop-outs, it'll br bring up a details tab there that allows you to kind of have quick reference to some of the basic information. Now don't worry, the details tab with all of those detailed settings and configuration items is still available. You simply need to click on the name of the connection, which you'll see is underlined on the left, and that will bring up your full WAN connection setting details. As you scroll down, you'll also notice that they've changed how you connect to the wireless WAN, and they've changed it out to have a small little kind of picture of a wireless icon with a pencil on it to designate that it's, uh, you know, you can edit the connection that you're connected to. Um, that used to just say Wi-Fi networks. So they've changed that around a little bit. So if you see an old guide or you're not sure where that button went, it is there. Scrolling down for a bit, one thing that they've changed is under the Wi-Fi AP section, they've added a section that actually tells you which frequency your various networks or SSIDs are broadcasting on. And for customers that are troubleshooting, you know, older legacy devices or they want to specifically use two gigahertz or five gigahertz, this is a nice feature that they've added to this dashboard screen that will show you what frequency each SSID is broadcasting on. Next to the dashboard tab, you might notice that the Speed Fusion Cloud icon is now called Speed Fusion Protect or SFC Protect. Speed Fusion Connect Protect. <laughs> There's a lot that went into that, uh, but the backstory really is that uh, they want you to understand that Speed Fusion can connect you to various internet connections all at the same time. And because it's using a VPN tunnel, it's also protecting your traffic when you're using all of these various WAN connections. Um, that's really the backstory of it, but for all intents and purposes, Speed Fusion Cloud, Speed Fusion Connect, Speed Fusion Protect, Speed Fusion Connect Protect, they all mean the same thing, which is Peplink's proprietary technology that allows you to combine multiple connections all together into one resilient connection that can improve the reliability and speed of your internet connection. A really key feature to why these routers are so popular. Okay, so let's talk about synergy mode and all these 
WAN connections. I think we've got one, two, I think I've got 10 connections between these, these two uh, mobile routers since they're connected together. And that is just so, so cool. All right, so real world scenario, where is this gonna be valuable to our customers? The vast majority of customers will have purchased the device over the last three years, and they may be looking to add additional connections or maybe they wanna add 5G. And Synergy Mode gives you the ability to pick up an, you know, an entry level 5G device like the BR1 Pro 5G and integrate that into your existing connections. So you'd go from having two connections if you were with a duo or one single connection if you had one of the older MK2s or minis and you'd up that to two or three connections and you'd include 5G in your setup. The benefits of Synergy Mode don't just stop at the cellular connections though. You're passing through all of the connections that were available in that secondary device to your primary device. So that means you will be able to have an additional WAN port most likely. So if you wanted to connect Starlink or something else, you could connect that downstream a bit. And you're also gonna have additional Wi-Fi as WAN connections or the ability to connect to public Wi-Fi with your various devices. So you're really looking at effectively combining the complete well, internet connection feature set of two devices into one single dashboard for ease of use and management. Synergy mode really solves one of the bigger challenges that people had when they were trying to connect a dual modem or dual internet based device downstream or secondary to a primary 5G device. And really what that was is that when you went to try to combine all the connections with Speed Fusion, it didn't understand how to deal with the second modem connection on that secondary router. That may have gone over everybody's head, that's okay. The point of what I'm trying to say is that with Synergy Mode now, all of your connections will show up on that single dashboard. All you have to do is drag them into priority one and after you configure Speed Fusion Connect or Speed Fusion Cloud, they are gonna operate all like they did as if they were in one single device. So what makes Synergy Mode work? This ethernet cable, that's all you need. Um, this, in this particular setup, this transit is acting as my primary and you'll notice the cable's connected to the LAN port and this UBR is acting as my secondary and you'll notice that it's connected to the WAN port. We have a detailed uh, or a high level setup uh, video that we did just a little while back that we can link to in the description on how to enable Synergy Mode. And we'll also link our detailed article on Synergy Mode at the Mobile Internet Resource Center as well if you wanna dive deeper into how to get this all set up and going. Another great feature of the 8.3 release is something that really affects for most of our customers, the Balance 20X device. And that is uh, the ability to have much more visibility if you're using one of these, which is called a Max Adapter. Uh, what a Max Adapter is, it's a, it's a USB uh, cellular modem, essentially. It, it takes SIM cards directly into it, it has its own antenna ports, and then it has a USB port here that can connect up to your Balance 20X USB port here. Now, previous to 8.3, there was very limited information about the connection that you could see, and it didn't really operate like an embedded cellular modem. You were kind of limited to what you could see, um, things like single, signal strength and what you really wanted to do to dive into to diagnose what was going on with that USB connection were highly limited. With 8.3, those features have been unlocked and this Max adapter really acts just like an integrated uh, cellular modem. So that really makes any Peplink device that has a USB port super, super exciting. We're gonna get into a bit more on what's happening with the Balance 20X in a bit, because there are some major changes to this device that make it a serious, serious contender for the mobile enthusiasts with the addition of 8.3. Before I forget, you can also enable band selection via the USB uh, cellular modems now with 8.3. So like I said, really acting like an integrated uh, cellular module at this point, even though it's operating on that USB port. Band selection was a huge missing component prior to 8.3.
Peplink has also enabled a feature called two antenna mode, which is really applicable to some of their later generation devices like category 20 or better, where there were four antenna ports on a single cellular uh, modem or cellular module inside of the router. What two antenna mode does is it allows you to disable the third and fourth antenna or the auxiliary one and two antennas in the mobile router so that the device can operate with just two antennas. So if you have an older generation roof antenna that you installed, or maybe you're trying to take advantage of a pre-installed cellular roof antenna and you don't you know, wanna replace it, or you just wanna test that out first, you can do that now with two antenna mode. Note that it will cost you some performance by disabling those two additional antennas, but it is an option now that you can toggle on and off for added flexibility with these mobile routers. The next major feature that's changed in 8.3 is the addition of the virtual WAN licensing, which is now including one virtual WAN license inside of PrimeCare. What is virtual WAN? Well, it's essentially the ability for you to add a uh, or change really a LAN port, which was previously a port that you would just connect to a local computer or device and convert that to a WAN port so that you can connect an external wired internet source into that LAN port. Why would you want an additional WAN port? Well, perhaps you're looking to add Starlink to your setup and uh, maybe you wanna add T-Mobile Home Internet as well. Now, those technologies all have drawbacks to them, but they also have huge advantages, usually around just having a lot of gigabytes of data available to you if you're in the right location where they can function. Uh, but, you know, unplugging, plugging, and swapping cables and changing settings is all stuff we don't want to deal with. So Virtual WAN allows you to connect those both at the same time. And if you're using Synergy mode like this, you may already have tied up one of your WAN ports so the ability to have an additional uh, virtual WAN port means you can connect something like a Starlink downstream and still have enough ports to connect everything together so that you're retaining that central single dashboard for managing all of your connections. Peplink, again, has included one of those virtual WAN licenses in PrimeCare, but you must maintain your PrimeCare subscription for that to be enabled. Uh, and you can also add additional virtual WAN ports via the virtual WAN paid license as well. Okay, so we're wrapping up this video. I know I threw a lot at you, but there's one more huge exciting update with 8.3, and that is the major changes happening to the Balance 20X and uh, the Balance 20X Category 7, which came out uh, a little bit later from the previous generations. As of 8.3, the Balance 20X is now running the same operating system optimized for mobile use in this package. So what does that mean? That means your dashboard is much easier to use, like with the other devices, you can drag and drop your connections as you could before. But what it also means is that it's enabled Wi-Fi as WAN on the Balance 20X, so you can connect to Marina and Campground Wi-Fi. So now, I think we might be really close to having like the perfect or close to perfect low cost central command center device for mobile connectivity users. You've got something that's way, I mean, I think it's 579 for the latest version retail wise, that obviously probably could change. And it has Wi-Fi WAN, the ability to plug in a wired internet connection, the wire, the virtual WAN, so then you have a second wired internet connection, the onboard category seven modem as of the filming of this, uh, the expansion slot to add 5G here, and then the USB port to add a second 5G here, all in a chassis that started out at such a low price point. This is really something that is super excited, exciting for the mobile connectivity uh, universe right now. Something that you can have all of this expandability, customization and flexibility in, and now it's finally running the correct operating system to allow it to really shine for mobile users. But make sure you check out the detailed news story article at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, which we will link to uh, below. All right, so that is the summary overview of 8.3, and I know it was a lot to take in, but it's a big update, and they've made a lot of changes uh, that are going to help our mobile community stay connected. As said before, this video was brought to you by our premium members. Please check out 
membership.mobilemusthave.com. If you'd like to learn more, you can receive discounts on all of the equipment, as well as access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center and access to our forums, premium guides, uh, extended news articles, and a whole slew of member premium content is available. In addition to those discounts, upgraded two-day shipping, all sorts of good, good stuff. So make sure to check out that membership. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the road.